What up, y'all? It's your boy Marlin, aka Merle G from the Lake, 079. Y'all know what it is. Right now, I'm in traffic, bossing a few moves. I ain't on shit. Nothing major. Snow everywhere around this motherfucker. about the snow. Chicago, man. Well, it don't matter when you're in Chicago. Boy, if you gotta get some shit done, you gonna get it done. I mean, it was a motherfucking snowstorm. They shut down the buses and everything. Off oh, everybody was out in the streets walking. Everybody, you know, for the niggas ain't have no boots, motherfuckers walking in ones. You catch motherfuckers walking in low top ones, dead smack in the winter, in the middle of winter. Right after a snowstorm. And motherfuckers trucking, trying to get to where they need to get to. You know? Grinding. Hustling and shit. You know what I'm saying? You got motherfuckers still be game banging in the snow. But it's cold as hell outside. Why you walking? You looking for a nigga to hit? Well, motherfuckers is crazy. <laughs> motherfuckers be crazy as hell, man. Hey man, but this way it, it is what it is in the city where I'm from, man. Straight up. No lacking. With your ass lacking, you lunch food, boy. Facts. <laughs> by bitches, by niggas, by shorties. Boy, everybody up on shit. It's so crazy in the city, man. You run across a motherfucker. Little, little boy, 12 years old. He up on shit that he ain't got no business knowing about. You know what I'm saying? First of all, he got a stick. He got a 30. 30s is, uh, that's that's like standard issue shit in the city nowadays. You know what I'm saying? If you a shorty and you in the streets, you got you a 30. All you do is look on YouTube, look on the videos and shit. Man, shit don't be props, boy. Y'all be thinking that shit be props and that shit be fake. Boy, niggas be having crates of sticks. Drop them off in the hood on the regular. Boy. If anybody wondering how they get them, how the fuck they getting these motherfucking hundred shot clips and these motherfucking uh F and N's, boy, you got motherfuckers with concealed carry licenses that can't even get that type of shit. F and N's with custom extended sticks, fully auto, boy, tear through anything. Shit they doing to our youth, man. Same shit they did to us in the 90s. Instilled a certain mindset. They got us thinking fucked up and looking at life from a fucked up point of view. Boy, our vantage points be the blocks. We try to see how we can make it in, the, in, in, in urban society. Our vantage points don't be uh, we, we, uh, we uh, born into a society where our family leaving us 50,000, 100,000. Once you get up a certain age, you could you could check it and you could cash out and become an entrepreneur, a business owner, you know what I'm saying? Uh, pay off pay off some type of uh, schooling that, that done benefited you. We don't get that shit when we born. We born into the hood, got that. Me, uh, me for instance, and I'm just a prime example of what get created when you born into the urban society. Predominantly black neighborhood, all black. You probably got a few Latinos here and there. Ain't no white people there unless they own some shit, they running some shit. They got a store, they come to check on their store, making sure niggas ain't tear their shit down. You know, facts. So when you born into these societies, man, and you come out in the gate, in the gate, boy, you gotta survive. My girlfriend, who I'm with now, you know what I'm saying? She be asking me, baby, why you always in survival mode? I be looking at her like, if you just knew the things that I had to survive, boy, you you understand that me being in survival mode is the norm. Boy, police should be on our backs. Man, the police was on us so much, it was ridiculous. 
We couldn't do shit. We couldn't eat. Boy, they were surveilling us in our own neighborhoods. Well, we got to come out where we live at, where we go to school at, where we, where we, bought, where we raised at. Boy, they'll hawk you down. As soon as you jump off the porch, they will hawk your ass down. You in the crosshairs. Automatically. What this little young nigga doing on the block? They don't even check them. Boy, police ain't, boy, protect and serve. Who? That shit ain't for us. That shit is not for the black people. Boy, they come on the block. Automatically, you under investigation. What the fuck this little nigga doing out here? The fuck? Man, he got to be selling drugs. Why he hanging with all these other little niggas? Boy, we got to we gotta see what's to this little black motherfucker. No, we see him too much. Like this where a motherfucker live at. This our actual neighborhoods. This where we, if we ain't in the house, in an apartment building or in a house or wherever the fuck we staying at, if we come outside, we want to hang out, we want to kick it, we want to be with our friends, we want to do, we want to do young shit. You know what I'm saying? Go to parties and shit. Look, look fresh. Be cool. You know, for the people, what the fuck is y'all doing? Why y'all out here? Watch out, frisking us, shut, shut, shaking us down at any given moment. Trying to find shit. I remember they was putting packs on this boy. That shit was so bad. And a lot of you motherfuckers from these different communities, y'all don't even understand what's going on in the black community. I know y'all don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? But I just want to share some awareness about the shit that's going on in these urban communities, man. Been going on for years. I'm 38. Boy, I caught it. Uh, I caught it in the early 90s, 90, 91. Boy, they was doing us dirty. They was doing us so bad in the 90s, boy. Boy, they, they put crack in the community. Then come, you know, shake us down for the crack. Give us uh, mandatory minimums. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers doing seven, eight years for one bag of cocaine. You got white motherfuckers that get caught with whole kilos of heroin and get, and get a year. And off that year, do do 90 days. Uh, in, a, in a rehab facility, in a facility to help them get better. Boy, they slamming our ass. Boy, you better not get caught with no couple bags in the hood. Get caught, get caught with a jab. Get caught with uh with 20 bags. What? It ain't it. What? It, 10 grams. 10 grams of crack cocaine. Boy, your ass out of there. Motherfuckers will see you in 10 years. Boy, your guys, people you grew up with. And it's so fucked up how we look at each other and how we view each other as brothers and sisters. We don't get no fuck. Man, fam gone. You know, we got to sit on down. You know, you know. He was selling crack. Boy, they slammed. They slamming motherfuckers. They were slamming motherfuckers back in my day. They still destroying my, they railroading motherfuckers in the court systems now. But back in my day, boy, you would get caught with a jab. You would go to, uh, they'll, they'll put you in the court system. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, first of all, they, they'll be having no probable cause, no reason to stop you, shake you down, no reason to frisk you, no reason to pull your car over, none of that shit. Ain't no probable cause. So it's supposed to get through out in the gate. Ain't no throwing nothing out, boy. If you ain't, if you don't catch a lawyer somewhere, pay him a stack real quick, get it through out in preliminary, your ass going to court. You know what I'm saying? And if they want you, if they really been on your ass, Boy, they gonna, um, what they do, they don't even let you, uh, get no preliminary. They just, uh, they, they jerk you. That's what they do. I ain't gonna put it in no terms. They jerk the shit out you. So, motherfucker go to court with a public defender. Ain't got no money. They trying to, your case carrying, uh, your case carrying 15 years for a couple bags. So, you ain't got no money. You only serving a couple bags on the regular. Boy, they, public defender ain't doing nothing for you. His caseload, he got 1,500 motherfuckers on his caseload. And it's it's five of them for the whole motherfucking district. Boy, they ain't giving no fuck about you. you they don't even want to hear what you got to say. The, all they do, all right, what you do? Write some bullshit down on the paper. All right, I see you at court such and such time. You come in the courtroom, they ain't say nothing. All they said was your name. Judge Railroad, you do whatever you want to do. You ain't got no money to fight it. Boy, the shit that's going on in the urban community. Hey, look, man. I'm out on the run right now, but I'm going to talk to you niggas later. I got some shit to talk to y'all about, boy.